you're out of my life for a reason. Please go away. Yeah, no. I, I won't lie. I use Facebook just to scroll down and see a bunch of memes. I mean, that's what I use Reddit for. <laughs> yeah, they use Reddit for that, too. Yeah, I, ha- I have Reddit. I have Reddit for my memes. And I even make my own memes. Fuck There's it. It's not enough. I have a, I literally have I literally have a meme generator. Yep. Um the uh, I and I even paid for it. I even paid for it. <laughs> um not, No, that's sad. Not for the <laughs> not for the generator or for the memes, but to get rid of the ads. Oh yeah. And it was a uh, and I didn't pay full price for it. Uh years ago when when Google it was either a 10 millionth or a 10 billionth app download, they were celebrating that and so they put a bunch of apps on sale for 10 cents. Yeah. And I got it during that. Mm-hmm. So it was like a, it was like a two ninety nine app sale, or it was like a two ninety nine app just to remove ads because they have a free version and then they have the pro version, and I don't like ads. No, I, I am don't diametrically opposed to ads, not because I'm opposed to advertising or commercials or anything because I understand that's how things get paid for, but because they're cancer these days, yeah. especially on the mobile side. Oh my so, god, yeah. they're awful. So yeah, I completely I, I was like, fuck it, I'll pay for that. I don't care. And so I paid for it. Like I said, it was ten cents. I'm like, fuck it, I'll do that. And it's a great little app, you know. You know, in a similar vein, um I bought an app I, I bought a game, must have been two years ago, maybe, maybe even longer. I bought a game that was like uh on like two phones ago too. Uh AC one thirty zombie apocalypse or something like that, or a zombie gunship. Right. And the whole point of the game is you see from the view of an AC-130 and you kill zombies before they get to this fort. Which sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It was a very simple, like, I think there there were just a couple different maps, but really weren't that that different. Um, you would see the zombies in infrared and you would shoot them with the minigun or the uh, 120 millimeter cannon or the uh, grenade right. launcher, right? Right. Just like, uh, it, like I mean, like Call of Duty Kill Street style thing. It, or Call of Duty, those missions from Call of Duty. So it was actually a pretty fun little simple game uh, that I would play every once in a while and whatnot. And I paid for it. And I think I paid for it to get rid of the to get the full game, but also to get rid of the ads. Right. Um, like I said, ads are cancer. Yeah. That's and, why I won't put them on our our fucking website for any reason. Yeah. Oh yeah. Simple fun game, right? So about a month or two ago, I hadn't downloaded it on this phone because I hadn't put any games on this phone. I don't I don't do mobile games anymore. Um, for the most part, but I was sitting at a like waiting room or something like that. And I was like, Hey, I have paid for this game. I just redownload it. I'll play cool. it again. Right. Yeah. So I go and I find it in the store and I noticed the icon had changed and I think the name may have changed. I don't remember, but I'm not going to go find it now and you'll find out why I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. Uh, so I redownload it, open the game and they have taken what was a fun little arcadey shooter style <laughs> game. Right. And they've turned it into a pay to wait. RPG. Oh, that's fucking terrible. Yep. So now there is fucking building mechanics where you have to build a fucking base to defend from zombies. Um, they like fucking those all those stupid shitty fort games. Right. Yeah. They, the the, uh, the Age of Empire clones. Yeah. Where you can only build things every so often. Uh, like Travian. Travian's one of those clones. Mm-hmm. Except Travian's actually kind of fun. It can be anyway. Yeah. And that was, that was and that was designed that way from the get go. It's like the original page back before or, they uh, yeah, fucking it, ruined those style games, right? And it's still it's still going to yeah. But yeah, no, I get I get oh, what yeah. you're saying. They like they turned it into that. Like I think before you could upgrade the weapons. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but now you had to buy the weapons even from the beginning. You had to collect parts to craft. Right. It like it added in like every aspect of mobile gaming's and shit games. That I hate and put it into a game I've already paid for. Yeah. That I own already and completely fucking ruined this game. Speaking of like... I was so goddamn pissed. Speaking of old phone games, one game... Like, this is the only game on my phone because like you said, I'm with you. I don't really do much. I don't play games on my phone. Well, because at first they were great. Like I said, when I bought this game, back then, mobile games could be fun. You pay for the game. You play the game. Now, that's not what you... You pay... Or you buy or you download a free game to get, like, harassed into paying them more money. Well, yeah. Well, like I said, speaking of which, yeah, um, there is an old game that I've played. It's called Robo Defense. Mm-hmm. And it's a tower defense game. You build robots and shit to kill things. Yep. And you get to decide the path on a lot of the maps. Nice. So it, it, it adds to that. And some of the maps have multiple entrances and shit. And there's, like, there's like 
it's one of those things where they've abandoned it for the most part, mm-hmm. but it's still the same game. So there's like there, and before they abandoned it, their last update added a whole bunch of new shit, like VR maps where you can randomly generate your map. Nice. And uh, they added what's called the road, which is a really long, really hard map where you can only have where it's more where it's more um, traditional tower defense, where enemies go on a set path rather than you determining their path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, and it's really cool. That game hasn't changed a fucking bit. That's awesome. And it still runs on Android, like mm-hmm. newer versions of Android, even though it was made in like the fucking two point three days, two point one days. Like really, it's a really old game. Mm-hmm. It's still the same game. They haven't changed the fucking thing. You can still buy it. I think it's like two ninety nine, which is completely worth it. Yeah. The only problem is you got to turn off the sound. Otherwise, the game will crash. Right? Oh, no. Yeah. So, like I said, they've never updated it, but it still works. Just turn yeah. off the sound, which is fine because the sound is just generic, um, like, guns firing. And yeah. So, it, it, you don't really need it anyway. Um, but, yeah, it, it's such a great game. It's cool. Yeah, so I mean, I'm glad that that's the worst. That's the only game on here. I play it like on the shitter or something. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna get some get like, and and the way it works, you you know, you you choose a map, you choose your difficulty, which uh, is in numbers represented by numbers, which is uh, one to ten, and you beat ten, you unlock another ten levels, you get achievements and all that. Every achievement you get adds to your in-game bonus. The higher in-game bonus, the more reward points you have. The more reward points you get, the more you can buy upgrades. Yeah. And the more upgrades you buy, the more it adds to your in-game yeah, yeah, bonus. Yeah, so, whole, yeah. That, and, but no, there's no in-app purchases. It doesn't ask you for more money. Beautiful. It's like, man, why can't we go back to that? And it's like, oh, yeah, because there are people who will drop $10,000 on a mobile game. Oh, yeah, people will just keep dropping money. Keep so, dropping hi, money. guys. Hello. We've been recording for seven minutes now and haven't said a fucking <laughs> Fuck thing. Fuck intros. Um, <laughs> we're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And, you know, we're just kind of in here today, kind of rapping a bit. Um, one Doing thing we thing. found out. And yeah. this, this really sucks. Right before we came in here to record today is that Anthony Bourdain um, was found dead in his hotel room. Yeah. Um, like hotel room preparing to shoot for and, his uh, show. The way it looks right now, we don't have any definitive information, but it looks like it was suicide. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's really disappointing, man. He was such a cool dude. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I mean, we were talking about how much, you know, he, I've watched all of his food shows. Like anytime he's had a food, well, you know, the 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 one where he goes around to different area, different cultures and tr- taste their food. Like that yeah. was that was really fucking. I good. was trying to. Re- I know that was on the Food Network, and I was trying to remember the name. Yeah, I can't remember uh, it either. I, uh, but like Wild, I thought it was Wild something. But I absolutely loved that show. Yeah. He would go trade taste like some weird stuff. And then he would go and get just like the most amazing looking food ever and just enjoy uh, like being there and, you know, being in the culture and everything. I still remember one of my favorite episodes was when he went to the Bahamas and he went and it's like, you know, sitting on the beautiful beach and they've got this um, lobster boat where this dude has his restaurant on a boat and you swim up out to it. Yeah. And he just like hands you the lobster there and has like floating seats and stuff. It was just, it was so fucking awesome. I wish I could swim. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd, I'd totally go to some shit like that. <laughs> You'd drown trying to get to the lobster. I gotta have you lobster. anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might, yeah. You know, I, I gotta, I, there are times where I've been feeling adventurous, like, Let's see. If I grown out of that, I might grow out of that allergy. I don't know. I'm getting past it because I mean, I grew out of my amoxicillin allergy. You know, I was allergic to amoxicillin, which is a very uh, good um, uh, antibiotic used yeah. for a lot of different things. And for the first fifteen years of my life, I couldn't have it. Huh. It would make me sick. It would make me very sick. So yeah, I might be past it. I don't know. I'm thirty. I haven't. I'm over. I'm in my thirties now. I haven't had lobster since I was like twenty four. Yeah, maybe I could eat it now and not. <laughs> Die. We'll just get an EpiPen on hand and be like, here you go. And, oh, yep, yeah, there goes the airway. Oh, uh, never mind. I don't have 750 goddamn dollars for an oh, EpiPen. Yeah. Uh, thank you. What was that? Yeah, well, he's in prison anyway. It doesn't yeah, he, he's, he's in butt rate prison. So, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> for robbing rich people. What an idiot. Like, come on, dude. Why Why would you Why would you be so shitty and attract so much attention to yourself and then do something so stupid like that? I mean... You can rob from poor people literally all day long, no, and no, there will no, be no you, consequences. You can rob from poor people legally. Yeah, legally <laughs> all day long. That's the thing no that consequences. Gets me. You fuck with rich people one time, and you're in ass rape prison. Yeah, 
It's it's amazing to me, man. I I just I don't get it. <laughs> Capitalism at its finest. <laughs> So, like, I don't know how many of our listeners out there have the phone, but if you have the Essential PH1, um, a really nice phone, I have one, I use it every day, they have released the uh, Android Beta 1, which is based on the Android P Developer Preview 3. So, hey, if you have that phone, you want to run Android P, go for it, man. It's really cool. I got to say, I've been running it for the past couple of weeks. It's, it's real nice and smooth and fun. So, I, I enjoy using it. So, are, why is it Android P? Is that because all right? Than... So every Android version has been named after like a dessert. That's what I'm saying. And their yeah. code name has always been a letter of the alphabet, starting with the letter alphabet. Oh, okay, so like okay. Android 2.1 was a Claire. Yeah, Android 2.0 was Donut. 2.1 was a Claire. 2.2 and I think 2.3 were Gingerbread. And then Two, uh, three, three was Honeycomb. Yeah. Four was Ice Cream Sandwich. Five was Lollipop. Six. So they're just going down the alphabet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we've now gotten to Android P. We don't know what P stands for yet as far as dessert Pistachio. goes. Pistachio. Pistachio ice cream yeah. maybe, pecan pie. We don't – pumpkin pie? We don't pumpkin know. Pie. Pecan pie. Um, but <laughs> fuck, dude. It could Pea be, soup. I mean like uh, 4.4 was Android Kit Kat. You know, they yeah. partnered with KitKat, 8.0, 8.1, uh, and 8.0 and 8.1 were both Oreo. They, they yeah. partnered it with Nabisco and Oreo. So, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just been that kind of a weird thing. God, what could it be, P? I mean, like I said, we pistachio ice cream, you know? I mean, but yeah, but I mean, enough. they did ice cream, so. Would pro- I, 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 would ha- I, I think they'd have to go with pie. I think they'd have to probably. go with a pie. Well, uh, some, pie. Some some sort of pie, like Android pumpkin pie, Android uh, pecan pie, Android no, I would assume they just do pie. Maybe Android pie. But with them, with like ice cream sandwich, you know, that's why I'm thinking it's going to be more than just one word. Yeah, I guess that's I mean, a, that's kind of specific. Or if there's like that, I can't think of a candy off the top of my head that starts with a P. Uh, you know, I used to, I, I, I might have been able to a couple of years back when I was still eating all that shit, yeah. and killing myself slowly. <laughs> But I yeah, no, it's just it's just one of those things yeah. where everything has been a dessert name and it's always they're just going down the alphabet. My thing is if it's if it's around long enough and they start over, like, how is that gonna work? You know? And I have to come up with uh new names, I guess. Or the switch. Once they get through the alphabet, maybe then they'll go from like desserts to like um fruit. <laughs> and uh, or like countries. <laughs> who knows? They can do anything at that point. Androids and Bobby. Android America. <laughs> Android, Android Argentina. Yeah, there you go. Android Bolivia. <laughs> A- Android Congo Republic. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know why. You just fuck it. You know, yeah, get some culture in your life, you fucking. I guess that's culture. Uncultured yeah. swine. <laughs> it's like Wacko, the, uh, uh, the Nations songs, of the World yes. with uh, Wacko. I, I actually or recently Yako, just I watched that. Um, on uh, Somebody retweeted. Uh, video on Twitter, which was someone had put, um, "What what countries are your friends from?" And then it was that video. <laughs> like, I sat there and watched it like four times. That yeah. video is so fantastic. It's funny that there's a few countries on there that are no longer countries. Yeah, <laughs> some countries that are on there that have become different countries. Yep. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, other countries that have been absorbed. He did. I want to say. I don't remember if he just did that or I think it was updated because that voice, the voice actor who does uh, Yakko mm-hmm. and tons and tons and tons and tons of other characters. Um, fucking he does two different Ninja Turtles and two different Ninja Turtles ages. Jesus. Um, yeah. Uh, he uh, he did um, Mikey and he did does Donnie now. But uh, that voice actor, he had gotten throat cancer, I believe. Oh, or he damn. had something. Yeah. Like, like, oh, you, you know, this is your livelihood. This is what you've, you know, done your entire life. This is the worst possible, uh, sickness to get. It's yeah. like if you're a runner and you have cancer in a foot. Like, it's like, it's like, uh, being a runner and getting diabetes and have to cut your feet off yeah, or something. Yeah. It's like the worst possible thing you get, but he beat it. And uh, I know he's back to doing, I mean, he, I don't know if he took much of a break. Uh, but yeah, he's he does uh, his voice acting again. You know, what, man, maybe awesome. he's like Ronnie James Dio, man. Up until the very end, that dude was fucking torn. He didn't give a yeah. shit. Like he was, you know, same thing with George Carlin, man. Up until that, up until he had that heart attack, he was in shit health. But he's like, yeah. nah, fuck it, we got to keep torn. No, we got to we'll keep, keep going. going. And like, like his last show was uh, uh, 2008. I think it's it's bad for you. And that was his last show. And he did that four months before he succumbed to that. Yeah. And fucking Dio. Um, Dio did what? 
four or five months after his last, after that tour with Heaven and Hell ended, like he was on it, man. Yeah, like he didn't, you know, all the way up to the end. Like, like everybody was saying, like he was a sweet dude. He was high energy. He was fucking going for it. Like mm-hmm. he didn't, you know, he didn't fucking care. Yeah. So yeah. some people, you know, he had stomach cancer. He didn't give a shit. It's you what's know? uh, it, it's that's it, when that stuff happens. It's sad, but it's almost it it it, it hurts. Comes out of nowhere. Um, it's a whole nother pain with something like Anthony Bourdain or uh, and when Rob, Rob Williams, Williams. Yeah, because yeah, oh. it's you know they're they're in the middle. They're not. They haven't. They haven't stopped. There's nothing that you don't know. Yeah, I mean, what's going on behind the scenes? But there's no, you know, oh, I'm battling this illness. Uh, and then out of nowhere, they you know they've committed suicide, and it's it's. It's sad. It's it, and it's yeah. It's awful man. when it's these high profile people. It's kind of like the you know what's is what nothing do do? being done or like yeah. I don't know, man. It's just it's rough. Yeah, it's but, sad, but you know uh, all you know you know as useless as it is, you know all our well wishes go out to the family and everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, my heart goes out to him because that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Anthony Bourdain was a wonderful guy. Yeah, I mean, he might have had some trouble here and there, but everybody has. You know, everybody has problems. You know, everybody makes mistakes, but otherwise, I mean, the dude was great. Yeah. So I mean, I don't it's, know. It, it's another. It also makes you think about something like depression. Yeah. And someone suffering from that, because this is a guy who literally went all around the world to the most fantastic places to literally enjoy himself. Yeah. And he still, if he's he's battling depression, I know he battled with alcohol abuse and things like that throughout his life. Right. Uh, and they would make light of that on the shows and stuff. Right. But. Uh, like that's how bad it can really be. You know, how you could be on top of the world and still feel like oh, you're yeah, in the I mean, worst place ever. I mean, you guys want to, you, you want that perfect example of, and I, I know I've talked about this before. And I, I will forever praise the show for it, man. Bojack Horseman. Watch it on yeah. Netflix. It is the perfect fucking, like, it is the perfect showcase for what depression does to people. Yeah. For what depression is. And of all the, media attempts all the all the attempts for people to put depression into into a medium like a show or a book or movie anything of all those depictions bojack horseman is not only the most accurate but the only one that i can say yes that's what depression is depression is not being profoundly sad depression is having everything you could ever want and still wrecking your own life with bad decisions yeah, it's it it, it, there, it. There's a reason. It's a chemical imbalance in in the brain. Sometimes it's sometimes it's other things. Sometimes yeah. it's traumatic events. But yeah, no. Generally, overall, it, there's something. It's not simply a well, get over it. You know, you'll feel better. Don't be you know. sad. Go fuck yourself. How yeah, about that? that stuff for some. You know, some people do get down, and you know they pull themselves out. Uh, but for people with clinical depression, there's it's there's way more to it. And if you feel that way, definitely mm-hmm. seek help. Oh, for sure. There's, there's no shame in ever. No, tra- you know, it's no that's shame. In we that, need. Though. That's something that I'm glad is changing. Uh, even yeah. when I was a kid, if people talked about being in therapy or anything like that, that was, oh, you're a crazy person. Yeah, oh, you yeah. Need they therapy. were, they were immediately a, ostracized. Yeah, like, yeah. No, we need to stop that shit. Yeah, no. It's it's a good thing that we're finally getting to the point where a therapist isn't, you know, like like yeah, a I mean, it's, bad thing to go and yeah, sit down it, and talk with somebody. It's one of those things where it's nice to see that we're like. Oh, we're we're starting. It's it's a slow thing. It's a slow build up, but we're starting to finally treat mental illnesses seriously. We're starting to take them seriously. Mm-hmm. You know, especially and and the biggest example of that would be PTSD, and how so many men yeah. and women came back from wars in like the twenties and the thirties, the forties when we were doing World War One, World War Two, when we called it shit like combat fatigue or shell shell shock. Shell shock, yeah. Yeah, and we just we just wrote those people off. And now it's like, no, this is a legitimate thing. We need to, we need to be treating this. We need yeah. to be studying this. We need to, we need to actually get into it. And of course, not just war. People who go to war experience PTSD. There's so many things that can trigger that kind of thing. You know, yeah. You know, incredibly traumatic events. You know, car accidents or losing loved ones suddenly. Um, horrific acts such yeah. as rape or beatings and stuff like that like it happens and these are all important things and I'm finally glad we're getting to a point and like I said it's a slow it's a slow burn we're slowly we're slowly climbing towards that where we're finally getting to a point where we're like yes these are serious conditions they are just as serious as any physical ailment that you can yeah. come up with so we need to start taking them seriously now 
if the U.S. government could get on board with that and maybe provide, a, you know, these these uh, these people, these organizations that are attempting to address these problems, a little fucking support rather than cutting it, we could be in so much of a better place in 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah, but and, nobody's looking at that long term. Yeah, everyone's and, looking at the short term games. You know, everyone's looking to lie in their own pockets and get the fuck out. And that's like, come on, you guys are killing us. You're literally killing us. Yeah. And not only killing us, these people, they – it's it goes way further than just uh, adults. I mean this goes into schools and kids and stuff. Yeah, I mean, and the whole mental health of the, like the entire nation. Yeah, and it's just being let. It, it, it's getting better, but not by much. It's being it, it's let not getting, stagnate. It's not getting better fast enough. Yeah, everyone, it's getting. I guess more notoriety. As yes, it's best. There's more of an outcry for that. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad, it, but I mean, at the same time, there are people who still want to twist and turn and twist things and point in other directions. I, like, when, yeah, no, like, seriously, like this the, start here. Yes. Let's like, fix something. Let's like, do something. Like the gun debate that we've yeah. been having for the last several months. It's like, no, guys, we need to have better gun control. We really do. Like yeah. I, I, I like, some more checks and balances would be nice. Yes. Um, but I mean, if if we're you're, you're not going to get anywhere with that debate, to uh, be course flatly not. honest. So that's why. I'm so <laughs> let's go for something that we can. Help. Let's let's start. That people let's, will agree on. Let's start taking. Let's start taking this mental health stuff a mm-hmm. little more seriously. Because I mean, there's so many, there's so many people out there, so many disturbed youths that could use that help. Yeah. That could sit there, you know, like, and we stigmatize it so much. And like I said, it's getting better, but it's a slow burn. It's a slow climb. But yeah, you, you know, so many like like the Parkland shooter was yeah. mentally disturbed. Yeah. You know, and we we might have been able to help. Oh, he him. was he wasn't just mentally disturbed. I mean, he was like legitimately hearing and reading some of the stuff he said in his own little videos and stuff. It's very very obvious where he got these idea from, and it's from the media, yeah, from the way they showed these other people, right? Very and very clear. You sit there, yeah, you sit there. The way he talks about these, what he's going to do, yeah, yeah, you glorify these people. Oh yeah, you know, like, that's it's, another it's thing. Very clear. That's, that's another where his thing. Ideas came it just from. needs to stop. And that you know, and, you know, I'm with Philip Philly D when he's when you know when he sits there and he covers these stories. He doesn't put their name out there. He doesn't yeah. put their face out there. And I so much wish that more people would do that as well. Let's stop glorifying this violence. Let's stop glorifying this in our media. Let's you know stop giving it the attention that these people are looking for. Let's get these people help because yeah. they totally do need help. So let's let's sit there. Let's let's get some healthcare reform going where we can. If we can't come to a point where we can get free healthcare, can we at least get some cheaper healthcare? Yeah. Can we get affordable healthcare? You know, like Obama tried to do. Something. You know. Anything can we can we get to a point where mental health? I was just gonna say, yeah, where mental health, where is, people is at don't least have that's to, free or, yeah. or or severely reduced in cost, you know, assisted and you know, and paying for it and things, because and not only that, uh, mental health, but as a whole, like after simple things like after school programs, yeah, funding better yeah. things in schools for kids, um, because it's yes. not just the worried about kids oh becoming God. a school shooter. But you're talking about a lot of schools where these kids go, when they leave school, they have nothing. They have their nowhere parents to go. Are home, they yeah. wander around in streets and stuff. They get picked up by gangs. They could be – like anything could happen to some of these kids. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I, I think after school stuff, um, programs, anything like that, that stuff should be Can we... like a non – just a no-brainer. That needs to be funded. That kind of How stuff. How about – Fucking just funding schools in general. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, t- can we, can uh, we just, totally. Can we just do that? Can we just fund schools in general? The idea of 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 just cutting funding to schools to – no. This is so fucking stupid. Public schools are where majority of the students go to get school. I get it if you want to praise private schools that, you know, have these – Great academic records and all this other shit. That's fine. You can go ahead and praise them, Betsy, to fuckhead. But when it comes to where majority of the people are going to go, the majority of your next leaders of a you know of the country, the people who are going to be making changes and things, fund the public schools. Fund where they're going to be, so that we can have new textbooks, so that we can have uh, fucking windows that uh, don't like let in all of the air and shit. Like that, they aren't have don't have desks that are falling apart. The can most we, simple, basic shit. 
I mean, yeah. Can we have food for these kids? Yeah, pay teachers a decent wage. I mean, seriously, they are the res- they're responsible. God, it's so for fucking so annoying. Fucking much. You know, we don't fund them. They have to pay out of pocket for supplies that other kids can't afford. Mm-hmm. Like, why, 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 why do they have to do that? You know, why do kids have to share textbooks? Why do they have to have textbooks that are fucking falling apart, don't have covers on them? Yeah. I mean, okay, yeah, kids could be better with the shit, but I yeah, mean, don't get kids. me wrong. That's going to happen. Bring that into the cost. They're fucking children. Yes, exactly. They're kids. They're going to school. Of course, I tore up textbooks too. I wrote in textbooks. Mm-hmm. I drew dicks on the corners <laughs> of the books. I mean, come that on. That was high school. Come on now. We do dumb shit. Yeah. But that's why we're in school, so we can learn to not do dumb shit. Yeah. You know, we could go on and rant about this for a while. But I know. I think we've gotten enough political. We normally, we normally, <laughs> we normally avoid this. Our, but, yeah, okay. our stance is normally quite neutral on a lot of things because yeah. I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't want to take us in that direction where we're leaning one side or the other because we just talk about nerdy shit here. But every now and then we got to get a yeah. little bit of our passions out there. I, I will that are, say that, that deal with society, mm-hmm. and that's a problem with society, and it's going to be a problem for a while. I will say, though, at least I will try and keep it on things if we ever do get that stuff that people can just for the most part agree on. I mean, children. Yeah. How can you not agree to fund it's, children? We, how yeah. can you not agree to help kids? It's how literally you... the next generation. The ne- this is this is the future. OK. The reason why Generation Z, it's not millennials, it's Generation Z, it's a generation after us. We're the millennials, it's a generation after us that are eating Tide Pods and are addicted to Instagram. Just get your shit straight. <laughs> you know why they're eating Tide Pods? Because we're not funding the fucking schools. <laughs> yeah. Fund the schools, stop the Tide Pod eating. Yeah. But it's as simple as that. Someone should run on that slogan. <laughs> you can have it for free. You can take this. I won't edit any of this out. Run on a platform. Fund schools. Stop Tide Pods being eaten. <laughs> I'm sure Procter & Gamble will help you out with that because they would be so replete to have that 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 go away. Yeah. I mean, seriously, man. Fucking. Dude, oh, that reminds me. I saw, I think it was a trailer. I'm not sure. Adult Swim has a new fucking show coming out. That's like, it's it's everything you hate to see, like all the millennial bullshit, and it's like a, I don't know if it's like a Tim and Eric style talk show, or like a fake game show, but it just looks so fucking awful. Like every, like, I, I oh my god, I'm, I'm so glad I'm past, I don't, I don't watch anything on Adult Swim anymore, right. but it's just like, what, what fucking garbage are you just pushing out just that they come up with is fucking awful i mean i i don't know i mean i'm i, I mean yeah I, i'm counted as a millennial and w- i fall within the the general age and, and ranges of that but yeah there's a lot of things that they that that you know baby boomers and shit accuse us of and i'm like i i don't have anything to do with that i mean there's a lot of shit that baby like, boomers and well they I mean, complain about that we do and it's like yeah because your shit sucks well, of I course, mean, we're going to do things different. But there's other things that you know, other things that they they say we do. But it's like, and then there are yeah. things that that are a stereotype of millennials that are like I I know most pretty much all of my friends are millennials, with mm-hmm. the exception of some Gen Gen Zers, because um, Gen Zers, some of them are just now reaching adulthood. Um, most of them are still in schools. Like I said, yeah. they're the ones eating the Tide Pods. Millennials are the ones with jobs trying to buy fucking houses in a crashed house. We're the ones Thanks, that are... Thanks, baby boomer assholes. Yeah. Anyway, so it's like, yeah, there are things that are associated with us. Like, I don't know anyone who does that. No. Like, I literally don't know anyone who does that. It also helps that a lot of the fucking, especially like the Tide Pod thing, the actual amount of people who fucking ate Tide Pods and got like, is really, really small. Yeah, it was just fucking it. Like everybody talked about it, and everybody acted like fucking. You couldn't step like walk down the street without seeing somebody choking to death. And on I, the I pod. still, I still hate that it was millennials they were blaming, yeah. even though it was Gen Most of the Z. People were a little bit younger. I think there were some millennials that were trying to get that. There, like, there, look at me, I'm doing stupid shit. That there were sort of, there were a couple of yeah. YouTubers that would count as millennials who were trying to yeah. capitalize on that fame because they're everything else they Gotta were doing that were trend. utterly failing. So, yeah, they sit there and eat a Tide Pod, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. What Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, like, why Why the fuck? Just why? <laughs> uh, I hate that shit are you, so much. Are you literally retarded? 
Are you are you the literal definition of mentally retarded? No, because then I would be like, where's your caretaker? Someone get the Tide Pod out of this person's hand. They need to be taken care of. And I would feel bad. In this case, no, they're just fucking stupid and Darwin needs to take its course. Oh, man. <laughs> Survival of the fittest motherfuckers. Yeah. You have been re- deemed unfit. That reminds me of the George Carlin joke where he says, fuck the children. And it's like, yes. The, the kid who sat there and swallowed too many marbles doesn't grow up to have children of his own. Yeah. Like, yes, exactly. Survival of the fittest. Let's stop, you know, stop coddling. And that was back in the early, yeah. the eighties and early nineties, where he said, "Stop coddling the fucking kids." And guess what? Stop coddling the fucking kids. Stop being the helicopter parents. Let your kids play outside. Don't fucking call CPS because there's four unattended kids at a park that's oh forty God. meters from someone's house in the neighborhood they grew up. Why? What the fuck is wrong with people? Are you serious? Kids can't be kids anymore? Yeah. Dude, when I was a kid, I would roam as far as a mile and a half from home. There are kids that used to roam 10 miles from home. We'd be in some random fuck-all forest dicking around near a stream or building a clubhouse or some shit. Yeah. We had nails and hammers and old rusty wood. Come on! You can't even... You can't even play... Like, kid... I've literally seen where kids or like adults, full grown adults who no longer have children, whose children have all moved out and become adults and had kids of their own who have called the cops and have called child protective services on people who let their kids play in their front yard. See, that's what kills me. The kids can't even go out in their own front yard and play with dolls or RC cars Or whatever the fuck they're playing. And let the kid eat grass. Who gives a shit? It's not what. Fuck you. Could learn. No, that's what kills me. Is that person who's fucking, uh, like a baby boomer or whatever fucking generation came after that. Uh, they're the ones out there complaining. Oh, they fucking these kids. They don't. They don't get to do anything anymore. They don't let them do anything. They're fucking participation trophies. Those are the same motherfuckers calling the cops. And those, those are the same motherfuckers handing out participation exactly. trophies. Exactly. Those dumb motherfuckers <laughs> complain about this shit. They're the ones who started the bullshit in the first place because their parents didn't love them enough. <laughs> Because their parents died in fucking war. That's why they did all this shit. And then they complain about our generation for not having enough children. No, fuck you. There are too many children. It's a good thing we're not having as many children. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't afford to feed myself sometimes. I make a really good wage. I can barely afford to feed me, let alone a fucking child. I couldn't afford formula. I couldn't afford diapers. I couldn't afford this shit. I can't even. I, there are days I can't afford ramen. And you probably make too much to even get the assistance to do it. Too. Oh yeah, no, I'm above the poverty line. Yeah, the poverty line's like I don't know. Uh, I think twenty like the poverty line's like twenty four, twenty six thousand for a single person. Yeah, I'm a I'm like ten grand above that. So no, I can't even get assistance. I can't feed myself some days. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, we were supposed to have children. I don't know. I. I it's, okay, anyway, we're, getting, fun. we're once again getting <laughs> we're way too, too political. As we're ranting about stupid shit, millennial <laughs> shit. Oh, my God, but, dude. It's just, I mean, it's that's just frustrating. It's hey, you so know what's one thing we, we have that's awesome that our you know millennials will always have is Pokemon. Yeah, and now we, fucking Pokemon, I, I, I swear to God, we talked about it a little bit last week. But now it's been a uh, week before we week, do shit well, yeah, last we week. Last <laughs> week, instead of recording the podcast, I think I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I think I was. I think I. Uh, or I was playing a video. I, I don't know, man. Bed. All I got to say, guys, you know, I'm sorry that we missed last week, but I really needed the week off. Yeah. Like, dudes, between work and this, this is this is not a full time job at all. But the amount of time that I can spend on it um, is about eight to ten hours a week not including the recording just sitting there and Mm -hmm. editing and making sure things are functional and all that so it was one of those things where i would do 40 hours at work and then i'd come home and on my days where i'm supposed to be working spend another 10 hours making sure shit goes right and editing Mm -hmm. and re-editing and i had to recently change my workflow because now this is a little different so the way all of this works has to change and i kept trying to do things the old way it's like i can't do things the old way because it doesn't work that way anymore so i had like i i would get to a point um where i would have a finished 
audio product. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, oh, fuck, I forgot to do this. And so I'd have to go back and I'd have to redo the entire thing. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, that's awful. So I mean, and I and that was I did that for oh, oh fuck what three or four weeks, and after after that I'm like oh god I'm I'm I, and last the last episode we released, um, dude, like I I released it seven hours like I started releasing it at eight a.m. instead of nine a.m. Mm-hmm. because I found that on Tuesday mornings when we release it I sometimes can't stay up that late very easily yeah because. I don't fucking know my sleep patterns are fucked, whatever. And so I was like, all right, I'll start releasing at eight. I won't make an announcement. Just fucking start releasing it, whatever. It won't matter. Um, and so we release early to our patrons. Mm-hmm. Of course, because, I mean, they're our patrons. They sit there. They give us money. That's why they give us the money. So they're going to get that. Um, I finished and released it seven hours before everyone else got it. I normally release two or three days yeah. before everyone else. I'm like, I Jeez. just, I basically just barely got it in there yeah. for a normal release, let alone the early release for the patrons. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, shit, I, I got to I got to take a break. I, I'm so, it was less that I was burned out and more like, I'm just so tired. Yeah. I'm not burned out. I want to do this. I just can't find the fucking energy to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, we've had a lot of stress from work. These last few weeks as well. Yeah. And Finally, that should be mitigated now going forward at least a little bit. Or when I put a bullet in my brain, whatever happens yeah, first. Yeah, whatever happens first. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I won't do break. that. I miss you guys too much. Yeah, no, no. We won't be going. We obviously wouldn't disappear for long or anything like that. Um, if we do, though, come looking for us after like a month because some shit's really gone down. Fuck, don't wait we'll a probably, month. We'll probably, well, yeah. Give, give me us- like two weeks. Don't don't wait that long. I, what is it, like a fucking week and you're pretty much dead? Come find know. my fat ass. <laughs> I will be fine. Save me! <laughs> yeah, okay, if we're gone for more than two weeks, come looking for us. <laughs> come at um, least send us an email. Yeah, I mean, oh, that reminds me. I need to check my email on see if anyone sent me anything about the flat Earth. I doubt we oh, did because yeah. we don't get that many listeners. But dude, if someone if someone did that, I I want to know. See, we should. I think that one we need to cut that part out, like all the <laughs> that whole discussion, and uh, put that on YouTube separately with a different name with a different name, like that that clip. Uh, okay, I might I might look into doing that. Like I, I say, we should when I'm totally like, yeah, Joe, why don't you add this more work to? You? Hey, so. Joe, do this two hours <laughs> worth of work here for nothing. Yeah, <laughs> I always forget sometimes. It's like, yeah, I say we, but really, I mean you. While I sit on my ass and play God of War, I don't do shit. Uh, because I don't have to deal with it. I already did the talkie. Yeah, but uh, I mean that you know that's our arrangement though. You come up with the ideas, I do everything else. Yeah, for the most part, I'm creative. But when it comes to well, the, you're technical. That's the best well, yeah. Part. But I'm creative too. Like I'm yeah. very creative. I can write like a motherfucker when I can sit down and find the motivation to actually do it. I can write wonderful stories. It's just sitting down. Yeah. But yeah, I'm. I'm also. You're right. I'm also very technical. I'm very hands on. I'm very okay. I got to get this. Now I got to do that. And I just do it. Yeah. And um, I mean, I set all this up. It took me a, a couple months because it was one of those things where I was doing it in between other things. But yeah, no, it's just like that. Um, but yeah, no. That and that's sense. our arrangement. You come up with the shit we talk about, and I just make everything else work. And yeah. make it all work. And yeah. Do what I can to make it work. And then split most of the cost. Yeah. We sp- we pretty much split that down the middle. Yeah. The only way we can split it any more down the middle is if I somehow figured out how much electricity this shit used, and I just charge you like, hey, give me four bucks. Yeah. But that's, that's such a minuscule thing, and we spend... An hour, hour and a half in here. I have LED lights. I have low co- low power. And I, I doubt any of this. Like, dude, no. I'm pretty sure my computer being on right now in that bedroom takes yeah, I don't more think power. Wasting too much electricity. No, I'm not even worried about that shit. But yeah, yeah no. I, so. Dude, yeah, you pay for one thing. I pay for the other thing. And then I just go in <laughs> there and jerk off all over the keyboard and make it work. It's, hey, you know what? That's how the magic happens. Yep. It's just, <laughs> just me jerking off. I'm sorry, guys. That's all it is. That's all we do is we just jerk off. Jerk off into the mics. Into the I mean, you know, this is a verbal jerking off in a, in a sense. I um, mean. Actually, maybe. I don't want to think of it like that because I, then it's like a circle jerk. And. We circle jerk. Circle jerk everywhere, Luke. No. Nah, 
I, no. I, I actually, I actually think it's of this. Audio, I did uh, somebody I was talking to the other day, yeah. and I don't remember, but I was like, "Yeah, it's audio porn. That's what we do." I'll um, get, I'll get, <laughs> I'll get like a really audio porn voice going next episode. ASMR. <laughs> yeah. Just start whispering. Hey, baby. <laughs> what is? What was the fucking like love line? Is that the name of that old SNL skit or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> Where they sit down, or yeah. was it Mad TV? I don't remember. It, it was, was one of those. Somebody uh, did that. Where it was the, one, he was, yeah, they he was sat down and pretend. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I'm thinking of something else. What I'm thinking of is where they sit down and they do uh, dating dating service tapes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that one, yeah. too. That one was good. That one was real fun. Oh, my God. Those old VHS dating service tapes videos. Ah, those were fucking funny. Uh, some of them were really sad. Oh, crazy. Yeah. 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 Incredibly cringy. Oh, yeah. But School I mean, shooters that didn't get a chance to do the shooting. And you know what? You know what? Uh, hold on. I, I do want to say one more thing and, and, and get a little bit political. Yeah. Um. Anybody who sits there and blames women for rejecting these people. Oh my fucking god! No. Need, need to seriously just go jump off a fucking cliff. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Seriously, you are the lowest form of human if you're sitting there and trying to find a way to blame women for school shooters. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Seriously, you're blaming everyone but the person you should be blaming. Yeah. You know, blame, blame, blame the people who allowed them to have access to that shit. Blame the people who ignored their cries for oh, help. Oh, wasn't it the motherfucking father? Sorry for being, again, more political. But it was that fucking asshole's father who the kid took his guns. Yeah. And then he was like, well, maybe if she just put out her. So he didn't exactly say that. But, like, that's what where he came, like, oh, the bullying and the girl rejecting him. That's what caused. No, fuck you. You piece of fucking shit. You didn't, you didn't raise your son well. You didn't get him help he needed. You didn't lock your firearms up. Like I I was never I never demonstrated any weird shit like that when I was a kid. At least I don't think I did. Um my dad had guns. We were a family that hunted. Uh we you know, we would go out every a couple times every year. Um but he still had his shotguns and his firearms and including my guns were locked in a gun case. I didn't have access to the key right. until I was 14, 15 years old. I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a thing, like, I couldn't get you to them. You didn't have access to the guns until it was proven that you could be trusted. Exactly. Uh, that's, and even then, that would be like, I would still have to go and ask him for the keys. Right. Or something. Like, like le- legit access access wasn't until, probably until I was 16, like, between 16 and 18. Right. When, like, I legitimately had a few of my own guns in there. And it was like, hey, let's go, we're going to the shooting range, or we're going to, go up there and I would go and get the stuff out. Right. But like, no, it was never, it was never, it wasn't like I could just walk into a closet, pull out the gun and be, you know, be good to go. Specifically the gun, my first, uh, shotgun, my father got me for rabbit hunting and pheasant hunting and things like that. It had a built in lock and he kept that key. I didn't have access to that key. So there was no ability to fire that gun. So yeah, even if you without did, that. even if you did get the gun, you couldn't exactly. fire it anyway. I yeah. couldn't fire it. He had a lock on that and he had a key lock on his shotgun. It's something where it basic things like that sh- people need to take even that small step. And I'm sorry, soapbox on that. But that dude, I, I had forgotten how much just absolute fucking rage inducing that that guy what he had said. And on every single level, on blaming someone else on just fucking mishandling his own firearms, uh, because it's been said before, like, we say it all the time that, that, that the, the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And then there's all, you know, a lot of people say, well, I take care of my firearms. Well, that's great. And a lot of people do. Uh, but unfortunately, assholes like this, he doesn't. He didn't. Also, so, um, I, I just want to have one counter argument to the good guys and the bad guys. Oh yeah, and I don't. I don't. What about the guy down in Tennessee who saved those people in the Waffle House? He took a few shots himself, but he took that gunman down without. Oh, a he gun. didn't even get shot. He got burned from the barrel. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. The teacher who threw a football at the guy kid's face. Yeah, the basketball. Yeah, the or being, basketball. Yeah, being basketball. In the fucking face with the basketball. That badass motherfucker. Yeah. So it doesn't. You don't. It doesn't have to. It has to be a good guy. That's that's what say. The only helps thing people. necessary for evil triumph is for good men to do nothing. Yes. So there it is, man. I mean, it, you don't need you don't need to fight fire with fire. Don't get me wrong. If there's somebody with a concealed weapons permit and somebody walks into a mall with a fucking AR-15 and a goddamn old lady pulls out a 357 from her purse and guns the motherfucker down, then yes, <laughs> that's awesome. But like, you know, it's I, I I don't I'm not I'm not advocating one way or the other. Uh like it, for me, I 
I'm fine with concealed weapons permits, uh, but I don't believe that you absolutely have to have somebody with a gun everywhere yeah. to stop somebody just in case. I mean, hopefully we never get to that point where that is expected because that's some fucking totalitarian, crazy sh- Mad Max shit. I don't want to, you know, live in that kind of world. It's already bad enough, like you said, that people are worried about letting their kids walk down the street. I mean, yeah, when you can't even let your kids play in your own fucking front yard without having the police yeah. called on you. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Wow, man. This is definitely... We a- had news stories, guys. Video games, movies we're going to talk about, but... This is definitely a political episode. What the fuck? It, it, like, the last four episodes, this kind of shit has happened, but... Hey, whatever. It's still good. I mean, Pokemon. People are listening. That's all that matters. Hey, yeah. yeah no, Pokemon, man. You know what? I, 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 I'm actually playing that Pokemon Quest game. Yeah. I I hate myself for it, you know, because it's a win to play... Or, a, a, what, a wait to play game. A wait to play game. It's, it's a wait to... Hold on. That's the thing that gets me. It's like, it's a wait to play game, um, but you can't Nintendo. buy any, you can't buy anything in the game. When you try to buy things in the game, well, you, hold up, you can buy things in the game because you do get uh, PM tickets and PM tickets yeah. are used to purchase things. You get 50 every 22 hours, mm-hmm. which is, uh, uh, and you get like five, and you have a battery and the battery lasts five expeditions or whatever and you can go on those expeditions to different areas and get stones and shit to upgrade to Pokemon and you get the fucking things to attract more Pokemons and, and make food. <laughs> like and it's like it's 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 a it's an interesting game. It's stupid as hell. Yeah. It is basic as hell. It plays itself. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't... You, you can do things. You can do limited things. Like, you can either have them do their own thing where they just auto-attack shit, which they auto-attack shit anyway, um, but then they have special moves. Yeah. Like, Pidgeotto has Gust, or uh, Charmeleon can have, like, Ember, or Flamethrower, or Scratch, or some shit like that. And yeah. Things like that. Um, and like I said, you can you can hit the button and they'll just act on their own where they use their own moves and they just kill whatever. But if you take control of them, which is sometimes recommended against some of the tougher Pokemon you fight, mm. you can have them scatter, and so they can avoid like like there's one there's one level that you can go on where uh, you get attacked by coughings, mm. and like seven or eight coughings will generate, and they're really weak. They they no matter what. Almost anything could take them down in one hit, but they they detonate. Ah, uh, okay. They just self destruct. They do like eighteen thousand. <laughs> take damage. you with me, motherfucker. Yeah, they do eighteen thousand damage, which um is almost an instant KO for for most. Which is an instant KO for most Pokemon. Yeah. Now, to anybody out there who does decide to play it, if you get an Onix, fucking hold on to Onix. Onix is a goddamn tank. Yeah. Seriously, this motherfucker is he he takes damage like it's nothing. And I'm sure other plenty of other rock Pokemon are like that. Uh certain weaknesses don't seem to apply here as much. Mm-hmm. And there's definitely no special attack versus physical attack anymore. This it's just all pure physical attack. Yeah. So like even stuff like Abras and stuff are just doing attack and if you have a high defense you'll be fine. Um No, seriously, if you get yourself a fucking Onyx. You hold on to that motherfucker. <laughs> you send him on every expedition. Because Onyx will tank so fucking much. Onyx is the only reason I've been able to do certain expeditions that I shouldn't have been able to do. Because, uh, like, all right, so you, you form a team of three. Mm. And they get, like, a power level based on their HP and attack. And it combines it all together. And so, you know, you might, like, right now, my team has a power level of, like, 6,600 something. Because that's their combined HP and MP and attack and all that. Um, with Onyx, because it's able, he's able to tank damage so well. I can do eight or nine thousand expeditions. Yeah. So things that are two, three thousand above what I should be able to do, I can do because Onyx just he'll take like ten damage from something that someone like Charmeleon will take two or three hundred from. <laughs> It is Jesus insane. Like, I mean, it should though. Onyx is a fucking giant snake of made of rocks, right? But I it, like, I like that. It's finally Pokemon like being 
what they are. Like, like matching up their stats and abilities matching up to what they are. But it's so dumb. I, yeah. I, It's one of those things that, like, I hate myself for playing it. Kind of like when I played Skyrim again for 200 yeah. fucking hours on Yeah, but on this Switch. was free at least. Was, this is free. You're right. I didn't drop another $60 <laughs> on it. <laughs> it wasn't like a $60 game where they're like, No, no, hey, this is completely this free. So uh, in the game, though, do they tell you, why don't you go buy some more of this? No, no. Like they when never, you run out? They never nag okay. you. They, there's no nag screens. I mean, I've been playing the game for, I don't know, 10 15 hours now yeah um i'm i'm deep into the game i'm actually towards the end of it i have four like you only there's a there's like 10 areas yeah. and each each 10 areas has a, a certain number of expeditions like like stage is like two one two 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 three type shit yeah and um so right now i'm at a point where i have the last 10 areas unlocked and ready to go to but most of them are like eight nine ten thousand power level thing so i'm like yeah. i don't want to do that yet because like i said i'm, I'm around 6600 or whatever mm-hmm. and uh it, i mean it's a great game there's a lot there's a little bit of strategy to it there's some rpg elements building you shit up and finding new pokemon and find to do the shit where yeah. you figure out what food attracts what pokemon and all that because you got a cooking pot and you throw ingredients that you get into it to attract <laughs> more pokemon <laughs> Um, to your camp, and of course they become your buddy and all yeah. that shit. And uh, you're not really involved at all. Like, there's no player character really. Yeah. Like how, like with other Pokemon games, you have a trainer. It's not. It's more like the um, what Mystery Dungeon series where that's yeah, just the Pokemon. It's just the Pokemon, and, and like you're there, and you're there, but you don't get an avatar. Oh, okay. Like it's just you. Mm-hmm. So I mean, the game is the game is. I mean, it's solid. It's. It's nothing special. It's something I play while I do other things because yeah. I can just I can. It's I can a get mobile my, game. Really. Yeah, I get my strategy down. I click yeah. start. I set my switch down. I go do other shit. Mm-hmm. I just go do shit, and that's kind of how it's worked. It's kind of how it does. And yeah, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, it's fun. It, it, well, it's not fun, but it, it's something to do. It's a, a time waster kind of thing. It's definitely a time waster. Yeah, I'll play it on the toilet like I do with Robo Defense. Yeah. You know, I'll go in there, start it, and just kind of watch as they attack Pokemon that I don't know why they're attacking because this one over here has no HP left, but they're attacking this one over here who says a full bar, but whatever. Hey, just you guys do you. <laughs> That's funny. But I, mean, I just, I like, I really do admire the fact, and it only <laughs> Nintendo, I swear to God, comes out with a game, a mobile game. A mobile like uh, game on the Switch where to, you can't buy things on yeah, in the game where they don't tell you how to spend money on the game. Yeah, like like well, basically you you know you go there's like a little blue button in the corner on the map yeah. and it's where your PM tickets are, mm-hmm. and that's your that's the currency in the game. Yeah, and like I said, you get fifty every twenty two hours, and you spend that on different things. Like you I'm can buy speeding things up, right? No. Oh, okay. You uh, no nothing gets sped up. So does what it, you can do, I, though, I, I have heard that there's something like, is there a um, limit to how much you can do in a day in that 22 hours? Yeah, you get you get okay. five. Uh, you get you you have a battery, mm-hmm. and you get five uh, five. I guess you you can sort of do it, but you get you get a charge level of five on this battery, and every yeah. time you pardon me go on an expedition, you lose a charge. Oh, okay. Um, at any point though, like and and you can refill the battery. Um, when it gets down mm-hmm. by spending 25 PM tickets. I see. Okay. And like I said, you get 50 a day. Mm-hmm. And you can use PM tickets to buy decorations that do things like uh, increase your charge level, um, where you can go up to six, uh, go up to seven, stuff like that. Okay. Um, you can increase the amount of experience points you earn when you do training because you can train your Pokemon. Um, you sit there, you go into your edit team screen, you click you tap the training button and then you know you, you put a pokemon over there then you put up to four other you choose up to four other pokemon that will train that pokemon and increases experience so you can get stuff that increases experience you can get stuff that makes uh expedition drop more of a particular ingredient you can uh and like it's just stuff like that but there's nothing to speed it up technically okay um it's just thing little quality of life improvements more than Oh yeah, you want to play? Pay us. 
like oh it's training you know come yeah, back in yeah. six hours nothing, or nothing. spend 22 tickets mm, there's and, yeah, okay. there's nothing like that okay no it's nothing where if you choose to train your pokemon you gotta wait so many hours yeah. and then you could pay to speed it up no or it like, happens this expedition right. will take 20 hours no no you... nothing like that it's all in real okay. time oh that's good no it's all in real time so you don't have to sit there and wait six hours for some so like if you train your pokemon now the one drawback to doing the training of pokemon is the pokemon you choose for supports you lose them. Mm-hmm. So. You lose them permanently? Yeah. They go away. Oh, wow. But you can always attract more Pokemon and they stay in your Pokedex. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So like, you know, but uh, it, 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 it's an interesting game. Like you said, it's a time waster. It's a good time waster too. Like I'm, yeah. I'm as simple and as stupid as it is, as little actual gameplay as there is, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm just enjoying it as a little, little side project, a little distraction. Yeah. I don't know if I'll, I probably won't bother with it on the Switch, but there is a mobile version apparently coming out soon. Yeah, I think it's either this month or next month. Yeah, and I might actually, I might actually download that. Uh, the big thing for me, whether or not I download that one, is if I can take my progress from the Switch on over. Yeah, I didn't haven't heard anything about that. Um, if I can do that, like if I can sign into my Nintendo account on there yeah. and have that pop up here, and I can just get rid of it on my Switch, or if at least they like work Sync together. It, yeah. yeah. Um, which, I'd be okay with that. The speaking of that, that goes into the other games we we're going to talk about. We have a little like more information now. Um, hey, you Pikachu and Hey, you Eevee. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, like obviously, those is are the it, games. They're uh, basically it, yellow. I choose you, Pikachu. Oh, I'm sorry. Or something I choose like you. that. I don't hey, you remember. Pikachu was the voice that, that game was the from the voice N64. Game when, yeah. <laughs> they put the little biker from ball on the yes, uh, Nintendo 64 and apparently it was so bad. Pikachu didn't listen like for fucking shit. But, um, you know, the funny thing is these days they could fix that via software update and that, that yeah. shit that you couldn't do that back then. So, nope. I mean, in 64 days, but, uh, yeah, the, they're going to have support where that will connect to Pokemon Go and you catch Pokemon in that game similar to the way you do in Pokemon Go. And let's go Pikachu and let's go. Eevee. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not, not a choose uh, not you, hey not you, hey not you. A, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with us? I, there's no, too many Pokemon games. My thing is I'm just focused on that, that mainline RPG we're supposed to get next See, year. Yeah. I, I want that. And I'm almost debating on getting, um, let's go simply to like, hold, like hold me, you know, hold me over. Maybe, but I don't, I'm not a huge fan. I don't really like Pokemon go that much. I mean, um, I, I, that's one of those things where I got to, like, I level 20 for, and just yeah. stopped. Yeah. I played it for a while. There weren't many feet. This seems like this is – if they had done this at first, when Pokemon Go came out, if they also had this game to go along with it – obviously, Switch wasn't out at that time. But that would have been something that I would have really been – I think I really would have been into. I got to say – Because you have um, trading. You have training. You have battles. The one thing I do want, though, is I want that, that Pokeball – Yes, I do that want that fucking Pokeball thing. That then Pokeball apparently you Joy-Con can also thing? connect that with their phone I and want take that. that with you. I want that. I mean, it's honestly, it's really, really interesting as a whole. It's just unfortunate that it's you know, it's something that it's like, yeah, I did that. I, I got kinda... I, I tell you what, if you buy one, I'll buy the other. What the the, the hey you the, oh the yeah, let's yeah go. Like, well that's the one thing I'm wondering is I don't know if they've talked about connecting with other people much I know there'll be connections with the phone mm-hmm. that you can do things with other people I don't in the game is there co there is co op yeah no they did yep. talk about that which of course you got to buy the uh, oh there was something shitty about that uh, I think to play to the game you have to have you have to have the subscription. yeah you have to have the description to even play that game which is you know that's pretty shitty um. Yeah, it is shitty. It's also a minor point, though, for me. Because, I mean, I'm going to get the subscription. I'm going to get it anyway. I think that... I, the, the shitty thing about the subscription is that you have to pay for save backups. You have... Well, you... That's... Yeah, that's the only way to only back way, up your saves on the Switch. Which is, is to pay. so fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. I mean, I... Like, the server... Sp- if you're not... What's, I, I don't know. Here's I, the thing that annoys me. It's just... Is it, is it something that, like... It, it seems like they that's a part of it. Only because without that, there's no reason to have their online at all. Like, it's very limited. So it's like they're bundling something that everyone else gives for free in with their online, which admittedly is way cheaper than everyone else's. So it's, it's, it's hard. It's like, it's annoying. It's a Nintendo y Nintendo thing to do. But at the same time, it's like, well, I mean, it's not, it's not like, it's hard to be really, really mad about it because, I mean, what is it? Ten bucks, twenty bucks a year. Twenty bucks a year compared to sixty for 
uh, Play- Xbox Live, PlayStation and PS- Plus, and yeah. Xbox Live. I think actually, I think PS Plus is fifty a year. It might be fifty. But I, might, but I mean, it's it's, it's really been a close. really long while since I've had yeah. PS. So Plus. it's kind of like, but either way, it's it's annoying and it's shitty. But at the same time, it's like, well, how angry could should I be about this? When I mean, I'm pr- I, I agree with a lot of the people. fact that there's no other way to back up your saves. Yeah, no I mean, other it, way to plug in an external hard drive or memory card or anything. That's which, still shitty. Which I kind of do get. Because, I mean, Nintendo wants to curb piracy, and in a 3DS, that was one of the ways that piracy was opened yeah. up, was the fact that they were able to fuck with the save files. So I kind of get it, but on the other end, you know, Nintendo fucked up this, this with the Switch by using off-the-shelf NVIDIA parts, because any 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 exploit that affects the NVIDIA thing was going to affect the Switch, which there yeah. is one out there. But it's like, I, I get it, but the fact that... Uh, I just give, don't think that me, hurts them enough to justify it. It doesn't. It it, really, anywhere it really near doesn't. enough. Like, I, 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 you know, yes, you want to try and curb that, but no, that's not taking a huge chunk. It's just like DRM. It's just like really terrible DRM in PC games. You don't need it. It's been proven that it hurts your sales and hurts you more than piracy does. Just fuck off with it. And that's that's kind of the Nintendo is almost taking that fucking idea of, well, we, we're going to put it in here because we have to. No, it's not going to hurt you. Just fucking deal with that when it comes. Updates and things to try and curb it, but don't hurt your consumer base. Nah, it's a whatever, man. Which is exactly what they're currently doing. Uh, if you break your Switch right now, you will have lost that 150 hours of um, Breath of the Wild and how many ever you know hours what? of everything I, I gotta else. be honest with you, I wouldn't be so upset with, with Breath of the Wild. I need to pick up and play the DLC. I'd be pretty fucking pissed. I'd be I'd be upset with losing all of my progress on something like uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I've put a, you put two hundred and some goddamn hours, almost three hundred now. Yeah, I've put three hundred <laughs> hours into that. Yeah. Now, at the same time, it would give me an excuse to play it all over again. But it would be so frustrating. Like like when I lost my Dead Cells progress, that was only forty six hours, and that hit like a oh yeah, that would be very annoying. And I I mean I've I've played another thirty something hours since, and I've, I'm not I'm nowhere near where I was. Yeah, like dude, that's frustrating. I got nothing more to say. <laughs> I've ranted myself into a state of where I just want to sleep now. No, yeah, that's fine. So I, mean, I think we, we're gonna go an hour or whatever. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it there, guys. Yeah. So uh mm-hmm. yeah, I don't even think we mentioned the last couple of weeks. Check us out, social media, Twitter, yeah, Facebook, uh, uh I don't like know the like the channel. Whatnot. Instagram page admittedly is probably just a placeholder page until we decide to do something with it. Start taking um, we should just start taking one, clips out of this. And just like, here's us in the studio. Hey! like. Um, well, one thing that I, I, I was hearing again, about. Again, I say we, but I mean you. Um, one thing I was <laughs> hearing about was uh, the Instagram might be experimenting with longer form media. Yeah, certain people. Well, right now, from what I heard, it might be certain um, So creators. I guess uh, maybe maybe one day um, when they've, they've gotten to that point and they've allowed, they're allowing longer video, maybe we'll just release full clips on Instagram. You think – this is kind of an interesting real quick topic. You think they're watching what's happening with YouTube and all of the backlash and different things and Instagram is going, well, we killed Snapchat. I wonder – if we can, uh, I mean, Facebook, start pushing into this. Remember market. that their parent company is Facebook. Is it? And Facebook? Oh, I didn't oh yeah, know Facebook that's that's why months. I stopped using it. Yeah, Facebook wants all of the info. Yeah. Well, I noticed today I was. That's why uh, I stopped using WhatsApp too, because Facebook bought WhatsApp, yeah. and no matter how much WhatsApp might be ind- operating independently, I still can't trust them anymore. I noticed today, uh, Facebook put ads on on videos on their website, mm-hmm. and I'm not talking. Like like a, where a ad would be worth it. I was like watching a fucking trailer for something and in the middle of a fucking trailer. They put an advertise. I immediately fucking closed it and was like, no, you fuck off. That is the dumbest shit in the world. That's why I pay for YouTube Red. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up there. I can't stand ads. Oh, yeah, All no. right. So, yeah. Check it uh, check While us out. YouTube still exists. <laughs> this will be up on YouTube on time. Don't worry. Yep. I'm not going to fuck it yeah, up this time. Like our, smash that little like button. 
Smash that Give subscribe button. Give love to the subscribe button. Yeah. Love it tenderly. Share us around a bit. You yeah. Know. Yeah. You know, let people know if we they uh, want to listen to nerdy shit. We or, got some old episodes where we actually talk nerdy shit. That I yeah, no, we pretty, got we got I some old episodes funny. that are fun. Yeah, like we're not ranting about political discourse. Yeah, uh, and you know, if you've got any ideas, things you want us to talk about, hit us up on the Discord. Send us a message on Facebook. Remember, email. on at the top of ungodlygeeks dot com, you can find all of these links and more. Are also yeah, yeah. in our YouTube video descriptions. Suggestions would be awesome. Like if we do a ten list again, or you know, you want to hear about shit we like. Or you just want to hear us yell about something because we're yeah. really fucking good at that. I really get mad about things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, you see me rant. I'm like perfect. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like an art form. And I've mastered <laughs> it. All right, guys. For the ungodly geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Yeah. Uh, see you later.